Hey everyone, wanted to give a quick review and demonstration of my Alesis Surge Mesh electronic drum kit. So, I've been using this for probably around nine months now. Um, I'm learning drums. I'm not the best at it, but I can give a good review of this set. Um, so I want to give you a quick run through. Um, there's so many options on this, I will not be able to get into this video. But I'll give you a quick run through of how the uh, main kit sounds. Um, kind of how the hardware is, the features of the brain here, connections, um, everything with all of these and like a brief overview of the features you can do on the brain. So um, this is just kind of what it sounds like on the main um, drum kit. They've got the snare, some toms. We do have rims on each of these. Uh, we have two cymbals. Uh, this is mapped deep by default. Uh, to ride and a crash symbol. Hi hat closed, open, and this electronic pedal does have a little bit of an in between, a close and open. So there's about three different sounds there um, on each ride. So I'll kind of flip through the different um, drum kits. There's tons of different sounds. There's a list of probably three, four hundred sounds, I believe, um, that you can map everything to. You can have a custom setup. You can make the toms not even sound like toms. Um, I have that on my one here. So I actually have this mapped to my ride, this to a crash. This is my China, high crash, and then actual toms there. Um, so I'm gonna get up and get you an up close and show you what this looks like. Okay, so I'll move the throne out of the way here. This is my own, um, but you can buy sets um, with the throne included. I will note that the double kick is not also included with it. Um, there's a pedal that looks more like this, that it's just a single kick. So um, here's a quick look at all the hardware, the toms, the snare. So these are mesh heads. Um, just so you can kind of see what that looks like. They do have a nice feel for it. Um, rims here, these do use actual drum keys. These here, these uh, mesh heads are replaceable. So these are rubber coated uh, cymbals here. They are chokeable, so you can, which is nice. They are just single zone though. So regardless of where you hit, it's gonna be the, same sound here. These are pressure sensitive, but they are only gonna make the same sound across all of it. Um, same with the snare. Hi-hat we have here. Here's the hi-hat pedal. So, and the kick tower. Um, I have abused this a bit. I need, do need to replace that mesh head. It's been a year of some very hard playing. Um, they're only like $30, so I can get uh, another one there. Um, we have the stainless steel frame here, and this is what sets this apart a lot from the nitro mesh, which is what I was considering getting before I bought this. I like this quality a lot better than a whole plastic frame. Um, just much more sturdy and just looks nice. So each one of these toms, and symbols will attach to the frame just like so. Infinitely adjustable, um, whatever rotation, height, forward, back, however you want to lean it, any way that you want. So coming over to the brain here, uh, there's so many options. Uh, right now, I am. it comes with 25 uh, preset kits. I'm on 26 and 27 right now because those are my custom ones. Well, I remapped a couple sounds, but we can go back to Kit number one, which is a nice default. Quick run through of the controls. We have volume, um, which is obvious. Um, you can start and stop recording metronomes. Um, there's sample songs that can teach you. Um, these are how you're going to flip through the different sounds. You can adjust volume of each individual piece on the 
uh, custom kit that you have. Um, man, tempo. No, you can even tap some there. Um, you can use that for playing the sound, for mapping. Um, there's so many different things you can do. On this side here, see if you can see that here is the um, audio out. Um, it's just a three and a half millimeter cable. And I will try to. There we go. Here's the back of it. Um, auxiliary in, which is where I plug in my phone. You can jam along to any songs that you want to. Um, that's what I love to do the most. It's, it's probably the most fun thing ever. I got the cable there. Um, and then we have um, other outputs uh, for different audio equipment. It is expandable for a couple more pieces of equipment, um, a Crash and Tom, uh, MIDI ins and outs, and a USB input. Right here is where, so <laughs> in the back here, um, right here is for the power right here is where all the toms and cymbals come in so they each have i will show you a cable up here that just runs to the brain so i think that covers every part of this kit um i really do love it i think this is a great beginner kit um, i can use this for years before ever upgrading to something much better i would say this is on the upper end of the intermediate beginner level before you did some really expensive drum kits. Um, so I love this thing and um, I think you should definitely check it out for yourself if you're looking for a drum kit. Thanks.